<clears throat> Three Six Five Nation, welcome to a very special episode of the Watch Along. Today we are watching a historic match from PWA's annals. We are watching a hair versus hair match, and we've only had three of those ever in the PWA. We had Elian Habanero versus Jesse Jones. Bye bye, Elian Habanero. We had myself, Eddie Osborne versus Ruffy Silverstein. I'm still bald from it. And we had these two gentlemen. We had Tex Lexus versus Corey Spade. How are you guys doing today? Uh, doing good, Eddie. It's good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing all right there, Eddie. I, I appreciate I'm going to move mine over here. Maybe we'll do this screen. This looks a little better. <laughs> um, we all fit in a little better here. I'd like to first thank you both for agreeing to not try to rip on each other too much. I know it's going to happen, but cooler heads prevail. We're going to watch one hell of a match here. Uh, let's kind of talk about it. Let's talk about the history. Corey, let's talk about how this all started. Well, I was commissioner a long time ago. Uh, Tex Lexus was also commissioner a while back. So we both had that experience. At this point in time, I am commissioner again. And uh, the two of us hadn't been getting along very well since Tex formed the temple. And what really crossed the line, there you go, what really crossed the line were those triangles. And when uh, they actually one night put their hands on Irene. A lot of people know Irene from working the shows, but she's also my wife, actually. <laughs> and because people were crying, and I thought that was, that was over the line. Oh, it was and over I, the line, you know, all right, when Irene stepped inside the ring. Mm -hmm. If you want to step inside the ring, anything can happen. And, then, you know, she did that, and the temple got, a, got their hands on her. You but know, the she, temple she had been causing chaos. You guys cut Bia's hair, left her crying in the ring. You guys tried to cut Carlito's hair. You guys well, there was cut, a reason for that. You guys she tried to cut. She apple in my face. It was disgusting. You could you could find that match on YouTube. I just watched it where it did spit like it looked like an entire apple in your face. That's kind of gross. But uh, Corey, hey, probably, you know how many shots oh. I had to get after that? This COVID vaccination is nothing compared to that. <laughs> and then you guys crossed the line. You had CC Moss cut her own mother's hair in the ring. Crazy. She looked ten times better, didn't she? <laughs> so the chaos you guys have been creating, trying to cut everyone's hair. Corey and yourself, button heads like crazy. It looked like there was going to be a temple takeover, to be honest. I thought the PWR logo might go away. We might have one of those in the Alpine Club there. But you decide to settle it in a hair versus hair match. If Tex wins, he becomes commissioner. If he doesn't, he can no longer uh, challenge for that position, I believe it was. Is that about right? Something yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. I mean – PWA was screwing me over left, right, and center, so they, I'm sure they put some sort of stipulation like that in there. <laughs> this match took place September 18th, uh, September 15th, 2018. Um, any any more memories going into this match, or should we start this thing up? Uh, what happened was that, now that I think back, was I was about to fire Tex Lexus uh, at the end of the night at a particular show, and before I could get the words out, he slapped me in the face, and then that's when the temple came and beat me up. But the thing was that some people knew me, not everybody knew, but I'd been hurt earlier. I had a separated rib and I had some internal bleeding issues. I had Joey Allen dummied me pretty good just before that as well. So I believe nobody was supposed to put their hands on me that night, which is why Irene came running out, even though she shouldn't have. Uh, yes. But uh, she yeah, was, knew that I was going to be hurt. very valiant of her to try to save you. I mean, look how that turned out for her. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Now, now, it is important to say, now I'm not using this as any kind of excuse, but maybe my mobility is a little bit uh, labored, you'll see in the video, because uh, the day of that match, I actually blew out a quadricep, and I could Jeez. barely walk. I had it heavily taped, and, uh, well, I was running on pure adrenaline at that point. But, uh, you know, there's a reason that Corey Spade claims to be the toughest member of the Hart, Hart family, and uh, because he really is. He's a tough customer, and I gained a lot of respect for him that night. Man. And one maybe one last thing going into this, neither of you guys wrestle all the time. This is a very rare occasion for the world to see you guys donning the tights and the boots and, and locking up and, and having a match. So just so people know, like this isn't your standard two wrestlers going at it. This is two guys who hated each other at the time, absolutely hated each other, trying to set, settle an issue. One was going to become commissioner. One was going to have to – 
find a new way to contribute to PWA, and uh, here we go. So let's start this match up. We got Precious Paul Wright uh, as the oh, yeah. manager for this big matchup. As you can see, other than my bum leg, I'm in peak physical condition. Looking I mean, good there. Look at these arms. Yeah. Look at the size of those arms, you know? But, yeah, uh, a little bit of a strength check there, and I see that, okay, looks like Tex is actually stronger than me. And this match yeah, was I mean, a lumberjack the, match. The spindly arms fool you. Corey Spade is a <laughs> tough customer. I mean, he might not look like much, but he, he's tough as nails. It's pretty cool to see Jeff out there. You got CC. You got the rest of the temple there cheering you on. And then you got the PWA guys on the other side working with uh, Corey, trying to hopefully bring him on. But Yeah, it was one hell of a lumberjack match. If you take a look around the ring, you see a whole lot of talent from PWA and 365 Pro Wrestling. You know, you got guys like Jeff Black, Lenny Holy Lilac. Slams his head in the ring. CC Moss. You got, uh, you got Super K out there. You got scumbag yates you got all the stars out there the pwa and well you know that last one in the buckle damn near knocked me out i hit the rope i hit the buckle so damn hard you can you see the mark it. on my head i'm a little yeah, bit on uh, woozy street right now and one more for good luck oh, God. yeah my head Jeez. is scrambled eggs right now i, I can barely see straight Corey's really giving it to me oh ripping it off oh, exposing that shirt, Corey, come on no, I just came. Exclusive temple merchandise <laughs> yeah that's why i did that a couple of spits in the hand just for insult. Now, you couldn't do that yeah. this time this time of year, you know. Right. Yeah. Do that kind of match, they'll kick you out, throw you in jail, probably. <laughs> just driving his head into oh. the buckle. Yeah, and yeah, it was I'm, pretty I'm, wild. I am uh, completely out of it at this point. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look like a drunken mess. It's pretty amazing to see, actually, all these people around here. Everyone wanted to see this match. This was a big night. This was the uh, hair versus hair. This is also the retirement match. So it was a jam-packed house. How many guys all out there trying to rehydrate Thanks, yeah. you? I took oh, a right drink here. there from Warhead, and in, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have. I think he tried to drug me or something. Because uh, <laughs> as the fans will see, whoever, whoever hasn't seen this match, you'll see what happens at the end. And I ain't too happy about that. I didn't think about that, but you might have a point there. <laughs> yeah, you never uh, know with Warhead. He's kind of nuts, and he could... He can do anything, really. I'm surprised he didn't put uh, meat skewers in my head or something. You see how the Lumberjacks are supposed to be throwing him back in the ring, and all they did was coddle him there. I mean, I think it goes both ways, though. I don't think the PWA guys beat you up either. So in this Lumberjack match, it's it's whose friends are whose friends, and that's about that. A couple big knee drops there. He must have learned from the Heart Dungeon. I recognize that, the training. Corey Hart is well all done, over well done. They hurt a lot. Yeah, I wasn't caring about wrestling moves. I just wanted to hurt Tex here. Big clothesline. Oh, Ooh, looks like Tex hit his head on the back rope there. That would yeah, that could really hurt you. Oh, Nolan Pink, he's attacking you right away. Oh, Nicky good. Martin. Nicky Martin in there. If I would have known Martin was there, I would have thrown a punch right in his grill. Well, Even Nicky Martin. breaks up pretty quick. Another former commissioner was out there. Oh, only a two count. Tex gets his uh, right shoulder up there. It's yeah, been so all Corey. Oh, that's going to change momentum. And, there you go. Well, and you I, know, the world's overpopulated enough. I didn't think Corey needed to contribute to that anymore. So, Yeah, I think it oh. got out to us having stomach issues there, and that didn't help. That was dirty. What Choking a smart move right there. Yeah. Using whatever he has to uh, gain the advantage. In this match, it's no hold bars. There's lumberjacks. Whatever can happen will happen in this match. Well, like you said, Osborne, I don't wrestle much. So uh, when I do, I have to take advantage of everything I can. Now, how did you guys get prepared for this matchup? Well, I, I had went down. Uh, a team of Russian militant uh, ex-KGB. <sighs> you know, they were training me out in the Black Forest in Germany. Jeez. And uh, we were climbing trees and chopping trees down, stuff like that. And, I mean, that's why I look like a lumberjack there with my arms. But, uh, yeah, yeah, not too much training. Jeff Black showed me a little bit and Warhead, too. But I think that probably backfired on me. He probably showed me the wrong stuff. Oh, Corey uh, in the now wrong part of town. Jeff Black just eating just chops. the crap out of me. That's the toughest man in the world right there, Jeff huh. Black, beating on you. Look at this. Wow. I've I seen actually, that, man. Uh, Preparing for this match, I went I went down to join Rip Impact School for a day and 
let him work me for a few hours just to get the, some ring rust off and practice uh, being in there. Did he teach you another man biting on your head and he ripping out your eyes? Because I don't think you can prepare for that. No, he definitely cannot prepare for that. And He's as you can see, the, the, uh, the really great uh, cameraman in the PWA got a good angle on that one. Oh, here we go. Here <laughs> goes Big Red. Here's my 10-pound pipe wrench. Oh, man. Yeah, and no, I wasn't expecting a, like a big heavy. That thing must weigh 10 pounds or, or 15 yeah, pounds. I'm trying to that's a whole nother uh, face like a can opener. I used to have a straight tooth on this side before that match. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, oh how's your spine? <laughs> well, look, that even hurt Paul's back. That hurt everyone's back yeah. in there. I think there's a photo of the welts on my back from that wrench. Only yeah, a tooth count. Ray. You got it from your chiropractor. <laughs> Corey kicking out. I'm surprised there. He's been worked over ever Dodge since that barely. low blow. Yeah, like I said, tough customer right there, Corey Spade. Hmm. And the crowd just chatting his name behind him. You got the PWA crowd or uh, Lumberjacks trying to help out, but right now we're gonna listen to the chop. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, that out. one's stung. Look at that packed house. That's what you get when you got Tex Lexus and Corey Spade on the card. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. What a forearm shot. My God. Those Ooh. are some good shots he's giving me. Choking the life out of him, making it even harder for him to breathe. Already having stomach issues, getting hit in the back with a wrench, and now choked. This match might not last too long, too much longer. <laughs> oh, and just chucks and him out the wrong there. side again. Now, look at this. This isn't very fair. Well, Alien's in there trying to help you. Brandon Jacobs, all the guys are trying to help you out. So, yeah. Oh, but they're breaking up. Or they're supposed to break up after you guys are in there. Yeah, things yeah. are getting crazy out there. Oh, oh a chair went flying to me. Oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Sabu style chair to the head to, t uh, to yeah, Corey Spade from Tech Lexus. Oh, yeah, Lenny Nicky just Martin. picked over Nick. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong. That's what you get, Nicky Martin. Lenny Lilock. No pink check it on him. Oh, another uh, huge chair shot. This time propped between the second and third. Tex rams Corey's head through it. I just oh, barely yeah, was able in the ring there. Look at Jeff Black there wanting to fight the kids. He was just trying to teach the temple ways, I guess. But Tex now going for that cover, hooks the leg. Oh. Well, now, if the referee was in position, that would have been a three count. Paul Wright definitely was uh, asked to do this match because of the high stakes of it. But apparently Tex not liking the officiating one bit. Looked like not so precise Paul Wright there. That was a three count. Now he's got more more plunder, more, more tools. What uh, is the, this? The book, the oh. temple book. Oh, look at that you put your stinking hands on it. It's ah. solid. That could be it right there. Carlito Just beat. Just able to hit him before I collapsed again. Jeff Black with that same book. Oh, no. The oh, most devastating go. elbow oh. in wrestling. It's nah, over. It could have finished me right there. And chaos now, is now started. Crazy. There's so much emotion going on that night in the Alpine Club. Oh, yeah. It was like 45 degrees in there. It was, it was ripping crazy. hot, man. Your All the lumberjacks kind of that. filing out here. Looks like it's over. Brandon Jacobs can't find anyone to fight. Super K getting beat up by CC. Scumbag helping out. Just yeah, chaos. Skullmaster doesn't even know what to do. Nicky Martin finally got up. He's getting out of there. Oh, he's on Let's Dream Street right ring. now. Let's get back to the ring, people. There we go. What's going on here? Text back. In. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Irene See, getting Irene. It. Irene. This isn't right. Oh! There, that oh. was well-deserved. Return the favor. Warhead, though, the Temple Zone at this time oh, became God. a traitor. How yeah, I ever Warhead. trusted that man, I don't know. He was tired of the way the Temple was treating him. He's his own man. Oh, DDT on the book. On, on the, the book. good book. Holding both arms down. I wanted that pin. Wow. And the crowd jumped out of their seats for that. I don't know if you've seen it, but holy crap. Well, it took three of you. <laughs> now, this was uh, 
these uh, some history. The exact same shears that Brutus the Barber Beefcake used to cut my hair at one point in time. Man. Oh, and yeah, that makes me feel so much better about it. There you go. I <laughs> shared yeah. them with you. Yeah. Now, the I am out cold locks. at this point. I'm, I'm dreaming about my summer house in, in Bavaria. And, like, I have no clue what's happening right now. I am completely out of it. I don't this... think you even knew where you were at this point. This is terrible. Yeah, Sunning myself in the Bavarian Alps. Oh, That's what I was doing. I, I liked that very much. Warhead did save you here. Corey was going to scalp <laughs> you in the wrong way with those <laughs> it things. It was. But, wow, what yeah, a matchup. It's not like I could have kept it like that. I had to get rid of it all anyways. Um, and even Irene gets in on it. What a sweet victory for the uh, commissioner, Corey Spade, his whole family, and Warhead turning on the temple. Which uh, it didn't work out good for him either. He got he got his licks after that. This is so wrong. What what you don't see is so many of the temple fans crying and they're in tears. They don't know what to do. You know oh. their savior Tex Lexus is getting his head shaved, and there's not a damn thing they can do about it. And he in got the back, turncoat warhead in there. He's crazy. If anybody tries to stop it, he'll probably rip their ears off. All oh. the jacks taking care of the temple in the back. And now that most of the Lumberjacks are all gone. You can see my little lumberjacks surrounding the ring. There ended up being all these kids. I call them my little lumberjacks. Wow. Oh. I am a heap of it, aren't I? Jeez. And they didn't even like give you a nice haircut. They just took some off here and there. <laughs> and oh, he has the good book. And I had the book. There's the little lumberjacks. Man. It's a good thing the power of the book found its way back to me and nothing happened to it. Well, after, yeah, that, after, was, that was quite a, quite a match there. I was going to say, after watching that, how are you guys feeling? We'll go with Tex first and then Corey because he got the, the victory there. And Tex, how well, Like I said, I mean, I, I had him. I had him. I was going to beat him. And then Corey Warhead turns his back on me, and then it takes three of them to, to put me down for the three count. Man. And, uh, yeah, then I was completely out of it for the last couple minutes there where I got my head shaved and, I think I came to sometime in the locker room and I was like, what the hell just happened? Right. And I had to have Lenny explain it to me and then explain it to me again. Cause I was slightly concussed, but uh, yeah, you know, after watching that, I mean, I, like I said, Corey Spade, toughest man of the heart family. So he, uh, he earned that right, right there. I, to be fair, Tex Lexus put up a lot stronger of a fight than I was expecting to. I was just going to go in there and, Knocked the hell out of him, I thought. But you could see at the beginning, I, f I found out, oh, he's a little actually physically stronger than me. And I knew he had a sore leg as well. But I was also beat up. Did you, you know. do you think you would have won without Warhead turning? Without oh, I think so. Oh, you saw it, Osborne? You saw it uh, at a pipe wrench in his mouth. What kind of man can, comes, comes back from that? He could not get a, a three count on me before that. And he wasn't going to get a three count on me after that. What a historic night, though. It'll go down in the annals of one of those matches you wish you were there for because watching it on tape like we did, that was fun. It was great. But being there, the emotion in the crowd was electric. So I want to thank you both for that and hope you guys come back later down the line in this series and we get to see you guys in action again. Uh, we'll let you guys close this out, first with Corey, then with Tex. All right, thanks for having us on, Eddie. And always a pleasure. And Tex, I'm glad that you were here to enjoy this match again, too, because I don't really imagine that you remembered much of it. No, you're right. You're right. But, you know, you were, you were, it was a tough challenge. I'll give you that much. Well, yeah, you know, I, like I said, toughest man of the heart family, and he, he really took it to me. But uh, so far as getting this back guy. in the ring again, you know, who knows? You know, uh, I'm getting older myself, and I'm not sure I can do that again, but never say never. Because, uh, you know, if something happens and I really have to get my hands dirty, don't think I won't. Man, yeah, same here. True. That's what they say. Never say never. But I've been on the same side with Tex. I've been against Tex. And I don't know if our paths will cross again or if I'll come across the temple again. But I guess we'll see. Well, thank you guys both for being here. And thank you, 365 Nation, for checking out this watch along with us. Now, the temple, it's red hot. Everybody loves them. It's been a year since they've been in action now. What's going to be your action when we do come back? I hope you guys continue to follow us. 365prowrestling.com. Take care and good night.